morning teachers in this video we're going to be looking at how to tag students so that way you can see them um, when you report on them you can actually sort them by period um, ability um, group etc so when you are logged into Amitrol eLearning um, over on the left hand side as the instructor you should have a manage users button we're going to click on manage users uh, show all once you click show all, a list of users will show up. From there, you do have to go in individually one by one and pick what you and pick the um, user that you want to look at. So I'm going to look at Rita down here. And then under Rita's user package, I'm going to go to manage tags. So for Rita, you can see here that I have her categorized as 2021 period two. I'm going to create a new tag right now just for an example. Uh, I'm going to do 20, 21, period, 2, group, 1, create. And you can see that that tag pops up here. I'm going to select it, and it's going to move over, it's going to, move over to uh, assign a tag. So now she has two tags. She's in, she is in period 2, and she's also in period 2, group 1. Um, so close that out. So now we can see under her name right here, we have her name. Her account's active, she's in fall, she's in my honors class, she's in 2021 period two and also 2021 period two group one. So why is that important? It's important because when we go to report on her, report, um, we wanna be able to look at just her group or just her period. We don't wanna look at all of them. So um, we could we can sort by a lot of, we can just type in her name, but I'm assuming that when you run a report, you probably just don't wanna look at one user or one name you may um, but you're probably going to be looking at a whole class of students so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna do the tag that I just created period two group one search and then I search it and it says this one right here this is the one you're looking for yes I'm gonna check that box search and then now we can see that Rita comes up and here's all her data um, because she is under that tag 2021 period two group one. So she's, she's under the tag 2021 period two group one. So that way I would be able to look at all of her reports here, at least everybody, every student that's in group one, or I have another tag for her and that is 2021 period two search. And so now now, once again, I'm only looking at one student because I don't have students anymore. But what I'm trying, but if I was going to look at the whole class now, then I can look under that tag as well. So you, you can tag in multiple ways. Um, you can a person can have ten different tags on them. Um, but tagging is what's really going to allow you um, to be able to sort your students in a very easy way. And then once you have these reports as well, if you want to, you can export them to Excel. And then the download the download hits here at the bottom, and then now you can actually mess with their their numbers and stuff in Excel if you want to um if you want to sort by last name if you want to if you want to pull out certain information or or whatever. So um, there are many different ways to uh, look at students, and I think the best way to do it, especially when you have a large amount of students, is to tag them um, into different categories.